Only two months remains before the end of U.S. President Joe Biden's term in office. Supporting Ukraine has been one of the key tasks of his administration. At the meeting with President-elect Donald Trump at the White House on November 13th, Joe Biden said that he expected a smooth transition of power in January, and he emphasized that supporting Ukraine is a national security interest of the United States of America. President Biden reinforced his view that the United States standing with Ukraine on an ongoing basis is in our national security interest. And it's in our national security interest because a strong Europe, a stable Europe, standing up to aggressors and dictators and pushing back against their aggression is vital to ensuring that we don't end up getting dragged directly into a war, which has happened obviously twice in the 20th century on the European continent. Washington plans to allocate $6 billion to Ukraine before Donald Trump's inauguration political rights. These funds will be used to purchase weapons for the Ukrainian Defense Forces. On November 13th, U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken discussed with Ukrainian Foreign Minister Andriy Sibiha the strengthening of Ukraine's defense capabilities. Blinken assured that the Joe Biden administration will continue to strengthen NATO and increase assistance to Ukraine. As we're working to make sure that Ukraine has what it needs to effectively defend itself, um, the United States continues to step up. Uh, we've obligated just uh, recently and pushed out the door another $8 billion in security assistance for Ukraine. That was in September. Another almost uh, half a billion dollars uh, just a few weeks ago. And President Biden is committed to making sure that every dollar we have at our disposal will be pushed out the door between now and January 20th. Since Congress approved additional funding for Ukraine in April 2024, the U.S. has already provided Ukraine with 83 percent of the promised ammunition, the Pentagon has said. We are talking about 155 millimeter artillery shells, missiles for HIMARS systems, ammunition for Patriots, and NASM systems. You know, we're very focused on, as I highlighted earlier, uh, on the situation at hand right now uh, and frequent communication with our Ukrainian uh, counterparts to ensure they have what they need uh, to defend themselves from Russian aggression. And so, um, for our part, what we're doing is we're continuing to uh, ensure that. Ukraine has what it needs in terms of security assistance to defend itself uh, from Russian aggression uh, and we'll continue to keep consulting closely with our allies and partners on next steps. According to political reports, there is still significant support in the Senate for continued aid to Ukraine, even among Republicans. In particular, Republican Congressman Roger Vicker is likely to become the next chairman of the Senate Armed Service Committee. In October, he sent a letter to Joe Biden urging him to speed up arms deliveries to Ukraine. And the other day, he wrote on social media that Washington should give Ukraine, Taiwan and Israel everything they need to avoid sending American soldiers to help them. In his opinion, the White House should increase pressure on both Russia and China. Washington simply doesn't have time to delay. Reported by Anastasia Tarnavska, Christina Dombrovska, UATV News.